hundreds of years ago, scientists started to get really curious about what were the mathematical relationships between pressure, volume, and temperature when you changed those variables for gases. Okay, so Mr. Boyle, Robert Boyle, came up with, uh, well, what he did was he did some experiments and he took volumes of gas and then he had the ability to be able to change those volumes and then record the new pressures. And when that happened, he found this mathematical relationship that P times V equals K, a constant, which meant that if you took a, pre a, a, a gas, a volume of gas, this much gas, let's say, and you know the pressure of it, and then you go, ha ha! And you actually squeeze that into a different volume, the pressure goes up to a point where, when you multiply the original pressure and volume together, you actually get the same number when you multiply the new pressure and volume together. And that's P1V1 equals P2V2, and it's a wonderful formula attributed to Mr. Boyle, Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law is stated as such, that at a constant temperature, so you have to keep the temperature the same, the volume of a gas varies, how? Indirectly, or is inversely proportional to the volume. The pressure and the volume are inversely proportional to one another. Oh, they look direct to me. No, 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 no. In order to maintain the constant K, if one of these numbers goes up, the other has to go down, right? So they're inversely proportional to one another. That's cool. So how would you actually graph that? Oh, just put a line. No, uh-uh. Just put a line going down because as one goes up, the other goes down. Yeah, well, no, because you always have to have this number being represented here when you multiply pressure times volume, and that number, even if you have even if you approach zero here or here, you're still going to have to be able to get a number here that, well, isn't zero. So, there is the graph for pressure versus volume. As the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. As the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. As the volume expands and increases, the pressure is going to decrease, but they never crash into the zeros here of both of those axes, and so we get an asymptote okay, on both of those y and x axes. That's the graph of that. By the way, if you actually want to graph pressure versus 1 over volume, now you actually get a straight line. But don't let it go through the origin, because that's not right to start there. Anyway, okay, so can you take Boyle's Law now and utilize it uh, to be able to do some calculations? Sure you can. Look, calculate the new volume of a gas that is pressurized from 100 kPa in 2 liters. So you've got a gas, it's at 100 kPa, you've got 2 liters of it, right? And you're going to go to 1.5 atmospheres. Ooh, okay, well wait a minute now. You just went to atmospheres, kPa's. Hey, put it all into the same calculation. It all works out nice. Just know that, first of all, you kind of, if you're not told in the question, the temperature remains the same. You just kind of take for granted that it is in this circumstance because they haven't mentioned temperature. But the temperature would be held constant here to be able to execute Boyle's Law. So you take that formula, manipulate it to solve for V2. V2 equals P1, V1 over P2. You have to be able to divide both sides by P1, uh, P2, sorry, in order to get that formula. And then once you've got it, plug it in. 100 kPa and 2 liters are the initial pressure and initial volume divided by the final pressure which is 1.5 atmospheres but we don't want atmospheres here or we could have turned that into atmospheres so I just did look 1.5 atmospheres oh and times 101.325 kPa per 1 atmosphere because I've memorized those conversion factors and you actually get 1.3 liters hey why does that make sense because Look at 100 kPa is around one atmosphere of pressure, right? But 1.5 atmospheres means that you took that volume and you went from one atmosphere, ha ha, to pressurize it to get it to 1.5. That means the volume had to go down. It went from 2 liters to 1.3. So you can always check by using your logic to see if you're right. Do that.